How you doing guys? Hope you're all having a great day. I'm Sean from Route 36 and today we've got free tips to make sure your images look awesome and professional post edit. Let's go! <music> Tip one, think about the style you want to create before you start editing the image. Ideally, you'd be thinking about this before you take the picture itself, but it's in post that we can really add our own specific style to an image. Do you want a dark, intense atmosphere? Do you want a bright and colourful atmosphere? Do you want a futuristic with a specific colour wash across the whole image? Do you want a black and white? Do you want to pick out the specific colour or wash out the rest? Lots and lots of different options, but the key thing is to think about the style you want to create before you start editing the image. Tip two, fill the frame with the main focus of the image. Remove any areas that aren't adding anything to the overall power of the image. This is crucial. We see so many okay images that could be great with just a little bit of cropping or movement. Is it a wide shot, but the main focus is drowned out by the rest of the background? Is the image centered or on a third line? Or if not, can you crop it to make sure that it is? Again, these are things for you to think about before you take the image initially, but we also have the freedom to make these changes in the edit if you're not totally happy with the shot that you've took. We've all been there when you've got that limited time to get that perfect shot, so you just have to get it as good as you possibly can when you're on set knowing that you can make your final tweaks in post and that's what the software is for after all. Tip three, work with the color correction settings until you have your desired final image. It's in the color correction settings that we can make a lot of changes to the overall style of the image. Here we can change the exposure of the image, the contrast, we can drop the blacks down slightly, bring the whites up a bit more, bring the shadows up to give it a bit more detail, we can increase sharpness, we can reduce the sharpness, we can also play with the hue and the saturation settings if you want to bring a specific colour to the fore. The main thing here is to have fun with it. Everything you do here can be undone easily just by resetting the sliders. So play around with it until you get the style that you actually wanted in the first place. So there you go guys. They were our free tips for making your photos look awesome post edit. Hopefully you enjoyed them and you can use them to make the most of your photography. If you want to go into these tips in a little bit more detail, then check out our other videos. If you want to see us make a video about something specific, just stick it in the comments. And remember, change the rules. Peace out.